Hello all, welcome to my channel. Now in this video, I will show you how to write a DML trigger to set the default salary of the employee whenever user enter the job of the employee that is programmer. So let's do the same thing practically. So first of all, you need to create the trigger. So I'm writing over here that is create or replace trigger. And here you can write the name of the trigger. I'm writing the name of my trigger is employee programmer job trigger. And here you can mention before insert or update on employee. So whenever user try to insert or update on employee for every row, I want to reflect. So I'm writing here that is for each row, whenever the new value is a programmer. It means that the whenever the user designation is programmer, I want to set the default salary 20,000. So when new dot job is equal to programmer. So here you can mention when close and here you can write begin and and slash. Now here using pseudo column that is a column new dot salary. So what happened whenever user try to insert or update the data before updating whatever the value they have inserted in new dot job if it is a programmer then the new dot salary it means for that particular record new dot salary will be updated and that I am assigning over here that is column is equal to 20,000. So now my trigger is ready. You can copy all this statement and you can paste over here in PLSQL and you will get the message trigger is created. So trigger is created. Now I want to test this particular trigger. So it is very simple. Here you can just write that is select star from for example employee. Here employee Smith job is a clerk and the salary is 800. Now I want to alter the job of Smith and automatically salary will be changed. For example, let me do the update statement. Update employee set job equal to programmer where employee name is equal to Smith. So one record updated. You can cross verify. Select star from employee and here you can check the job is a programmer salary is at 20,000. So this is the way you can write the PLSQL trigger to set the default salary of the employee. Not only over here, you can also make the difference in the insert also. For example, if I'm writing here, that is an insert into employee and I want to insert the number, name and job values. Number is for example, four time one. Name of the person is Hariyom. And I'm writing the job over here that is a programmer. Now, here you can just cross verify, select star from employee. Here, the record of Hariyom is inserted and now you can check that the salary is 20,000. So this is the way you can write the DML trigger in Oracle to set the default salary of the employee whenever the user job is programmer. So that's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.